Let's make homemade Snickers. Down below in the description box, you'll find a list of the ingredients and their amounts. We need to begin by making the homemade nougat. And I love these homemade Snickers. They're super delicious. I think I like them even better than the real thing. All right, on to the nougat. What we wanna start by doing is whipping up the egg white. Now, this recipe is much easier to make if you have a stand mixer, but I'm gonna show you how to do it with a hand mixer. Also, you will need a candy thermometer or some kind of a thermometer for this. And now, let's just take our egg, this one large egg here, and we wanna get just the white from this egg, so separate the yolk, and we'll just transfer the yolk back and forth between the shell to get that yolk. And you can save this yolk and use it for something else if you like. Throw it in an omelet. Do whatever you want with it, okay? Let's go ahead and just start beating these egg white until we have nice stiff peaks. Okay, so then when you take the beaters out, they'll have little peaks on there and they won't fall over. That's what we mean by stiff peaks. And now, we can set this aside for now. We need to do the sugar part of the nougat. And what we're gonna do is we have two thirds cup of white granulated sugar, one quarter teaspoon of salt, one tablespoon of water, and then one third cup of corn syrup. And then we are going to heat this up and melt it to 255 to 260 degrees Fahrenheit, which is about 124 to 128 Celsius. Over to the stovetop we go. I have the heat set to medium heat. And now we don't have to constantly stir this at all. We're just gonna let it sit here and stir occasionally. And this part right here is gonna take somewhere between six and 10, 12 minutes, somewhere around there to get it to the right temperature. All right, we are there. And now we have the trickiest part of the nougat and we are going to barely drizzle this um, hot sugar into the egg white just a little bit while we are mixing, okay? Okay, and then we're gonna just mix it for another about a minute or so. Thirty seconds to a minute doesn't have to be exact. So you can see why a stand mixer would come in really handy. All right, and now we want to uh, work fairly quickly here. And I have these little bread loaf pans, and I'm I like using these just because. It comes out really well, little, really easy after the fact. And I wanna put about a third of the, each of this in here, evenly into each one of these. And I did spray these pans with cooking spray. It's pretty important. You wanna spray the pans with cooking spray. And that is the nougat, okay? So the really, the only complicated part is drizzling that hot sugar in at a slow pace. You can't just dump it all in, otherwise it'll completely ruin it. It'll cook the egg whites. Now our nougat is done. It's really important, we need to chill this nougat. So put it in the fridge for at least four hours. Sometimes I do it overnight before we can move on to the caramel step, okay? Into the fridge they go, again, about four hours or even overnight. Once our nougat has cooled, I left it in there overnight. I really want that nougat to be nice and firm. If it is really, really soft, even after a night, over a night, when you press it, if it's really soft, it means that that sugar probably wasn't hot enough. And so you really, really need to use a candy thermometer for that sugar to make sure it's at the right temperature, okay? And now I have caramel. This is about 30 of the individually wrapped uh, craft caramels and you can use homemade caramel. I have a really nice homemade caramel recipe here on my channel that I use for the caramel apples. Um, so if you wanna make the caramel from scratch, I would just half that caramel recipe on there. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add 
about a tablespoon and a half to two tablespoons of either heavy whipping cream, half and half, or just whole milk to my caramels. And then I'm gonna melt this in the microwave on bursts of 25 to 30 seconds and then stir 30 seconds, 25 seconds, and then stir until it's nice and melted. You could also put this in a pot and do it on the stovetop over medium low heat if you don't want to use the microwave. On to that step. And once the caramel is melted, I'm gonna add in my peanuts. This is three quarters of a cup of lightly salted peanuts, and those were roasted ahead of time. So they just came that way roasted. And just add those to the caramel. Great. And then what we wanna do is we want to come over here to our nougat. And when you press on it, again, it should be firm. Nice, and then I'm just going to come in here and take some of this caramel and put it right on top of that nougat. Oops. And then we'll just spread it out so it goes on the top here and covers the top. And then I'll do that with the rest of these. Okay, there we go. And now back into the fridge, these go for about 20 to 30 minutes. You just want the caramel to firm up a little bit so we can cut these up and then dip them in chocolate onto that step. Once the caramel has set, it's time to cut them up and dip them in chocolate. So I have um, half of a bar of this candy coating from Kroger. It's just a cheap uh, candy coating bar and it's a half of one so it's about 225 grams or about a cup worth. And then I have a cup of Ghirardelli uh, milk chocolate chips that I'm gonna add. Now you could use all chocolate chips if you want. You could use chocolate bars. It's totally up to you. I like to use a combination of these two, but there we go. And I'm gonna melt this in the microwave on bursts of 30 seconds and stir until it's nice and melted. You could also do this uh, with a double boiler on the stovetop if you like. Time to melt the chocolate. All right, the caramel is kind of firm on top, and then I have that melted chocolate, it's nice and runny. What we wanna do is we're gonna take this out. We're gonna, we're gonna do these one at a time. Leave the other ones in the fridge while we work with this, and just kind of pull it away from the sides. Kind of pop this out of here, like that. And you notice I put a piece of parchment paper down, okay, that way the, nugget on the bottom won't stick. And then I just want to cut this. And it might squeeze a little bit on the bottom of the nugget. You could also do it on the caramel side down this way, like that, so it doesn't squeeze the nugget. Just make sure you have parchment paper down because that's going to make sure the caramel doesn't stick. If I just put this on the cutting board, that caramel might stick. Okay, also on my knife, I lightly sprayed it with cooking spray. And then I'm gonna take my chocolate. I'll take one of these and just put it nougat side down into the chocolate. And then just take a fork and put it underneath. Lightly tap it. And we'll just put it right here. Put it right there on a sheet pan lined with parchment paper or a silicone baking mat. Put that in there. Give it a little tap. And let it slide right off of the, the fork there. And don't worry about the edges down there. We'll trim that uh, later once it firms. Then once you're done dipping them, put them back in the fridge until the chocolate sets, probably 30 minutes or so onto that step. And once the chocolate has set, we can eat them or we could also trim off the edges. Like I'll take this one and I am using a glove here. You can just trim off the edges like that if you want. just to look at, make it look a little bit nicer.
pretty awesome. And now I want to take one of these and cut into it and show you what it looks like in the center. And then look at that. Nougat on the bottom and caramel on the top. Really, really awesome. And there you go, that is how you make homemade Snickers. Just a couple things to keep in mind. You really need that sugar to be really, really hot when you melt it. You could even go above 255 to 260. Just don't go above 300 Fahrenheit. Um, and what happens is that just makes that nougat a lot more firm. And sometimes if the nougat is too soft, when you put it in the chocolate, then the nougat kind of melts on the bottom and kind of flattens out. It just doesn't make the candy bar look as cool, but it'll still taste exactly the same. And there you go, homemade Snickers, really easy to do. They taste fantastic. I think they taste better than the real thing. I'm Matt Taylor. This has been another episode of In the Kitchen with Matt. Thank you for joining me. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or requests, put them down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thumbs up, down the corner, press it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. Take care. I'm going to dive into one, the, one of these, this half right here. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. So yummy.